Hey, I'm, I'm really excited because I had a beer with uh, my mate Smilesy on Friday. Yep. And by the time I'd sat down and passed him his beer, he said, did you hear Hogs's story about the Bobcat? Bit of uh, background here for everyone playing at home and doing the family tree. Mm. Smilesy is Hogs' cousin. Yes. So was my ex-housemate, he actually replaced Hogs. He did. <laughs> in the house. You stayed in the family. <laughs> um, it, you were accused of jobs for mates at the time. <laughs> and everyone realised that, no, you are allowed to live with friends. Um, but yeah, Hogs, of course, people would know from this show, he's, uh, he's on fire lately with his inventions. Mm, mm. Um, but no. So I go to Smiles, and, no, no, what what Bobcat story? He's like, oh. You got to hear it from him. I was like, "Well, just, just tell me." I mean, this is yeah. we've caught, we're the whole point it. of a catch up is <laughs> is to share fun head, anecdotes, headlines, and articles, <laughs> not just to flick through the headlines. <laughs> and he said, "Nah, you got to you got to get it off him." So I thought I've waited. That's all we're waited, doing. I've waited yeah, the entire weekend, <laughs> and I thought we should do this with the people. Do the we have show. a small? I'm playing a game in my head already of what <laughs> the Bobcat story is. It probably falls into two categories: yeah. a fight with a Bobcat. Yep. Yeah. Or he tried to hire one. Yeah. I know he's doing some renovations. It's oh, gotta be at tried home. to hire one. And I <laughs> the last I caught up with Hogs last Friday morning and he said to me, oh, the quotes are so big, I think I'm gonna have a crack myself. <laughs> he's he's so definitely feel, he's, he's so, so, had a crack at hiring one. <laughs> so I feel like it's in that realm. Because but, every bloke listening to this. Now I've never driven a bobcat, but give it a huge respect for them. I've certainly spent a lot of my weekends trying to find them so I can show Sunny the Bobcats. Every bloke listening would go. It can't be that hard. <laughs> Surely it's just forward, back, shovel up, shovel down. <laughs> All right. Let's put the number in. Um, hopefully he's not busy. <laughs> and um, here we go. Hogs <laughs> speaking. Hogs. Uh, Hogs. Hamish Nandy here, mate. Hey, mate. Yeah. How are you, Hogs? Good boys. Hey, you're on the radio. Just um, a quick one. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Back in your natural habitat. I caught up with Smiles on Friday, and yeah. he goes, did Hogs tell you the Bobcat story? Oh, no. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I said, I said, what was the Bobcat story? He goes, no, nah, you've got to hear it from him. Yeah, Hogs, and he we, don't, we don't know he the wouldn't Bobcat tell story. Me. He wouldn't tell me. I mean, is it a story you can tell on the radio? Uh, oh... I mean, the police listen to the radio? <laughs> no, no, they've got other stuff. They have to listen to their police scanners. I don't think they're allowed to listen to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> well, I got the uh, got the front yard fixed up. Okay. And uh, the bloke said, "Yeah, I just need to, to bring a bobcat in." Oh, so you actually hired someone in the end. We were talking about yeah. that on Friday morning. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. okay. You, I thought you were going to have a crack yourself, but so you got <laughs> someone in to do that. Okay. So got the Bobcat guy in, and he's starting digging away, and uh, he's starting to get bogged in front front yard. Yep. Yeah, right. So I called up my, the builder who's building next door, mm-hmm. and he's got this massive digger. And I called him and I said, mate, any chance my bobcat guy can use your digger because he's, he's Bob. <laughs> What's it to dig out a bobcat? <laughs> and he said, nah, mate, you can't do that. Oh, okay. I said, yep, probably fair enough, $100,000 digger. I would just, yep, that's probably, you know, the answer I was expecting. Because it would look like a father-son, like, digger trying to help his son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how, <laughs> trying to get how, your kid out of a pool. <laughs> how bogged is the bobcat? Oh, half, half a tie down. And half what, a tie down, gee, that's bogged. And why is it so bogged? Why is it so slushy? Oh. Well, I think he hit a storm pipe. Yeah, okay, he okay. hit a storm pipe. All right. So it's flashy, right? Okay, okay. Hey, Hogs, I'm just being yeah. told we've got to go to a song. I know this is <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. We've just called you. <laughs> Hogs, hopefully you're not too busy. Can you just wait? We'll go to a song. Um, yeah. You figure out the bits you need to leave out so the police won't get you in trouble. And we'll come back after this song and we're going to hear the rest of the story, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, okay. Cheers, mate. okay so, what... so you got a stuck bobcat. Yeah. yeah. So what do you do? So the... The builder said no to the digger. Yep. So the, the excavators went, all right, we're going to have to go hire a digger, right? So he hired a digger, mm-hmm. and I said, I'm going to have to go to work. So I got back from work at about 5 o'clock, and now the hired digger is bogged in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got two so diggers you- buried in your front yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And... Then I look over, hmm. and some bloke is driving the massive digger of the next-door neighbour's digger. Right, okay. And I said, mate, 
what? Who's driving the digger? He said, oh, no, no, we just jump started it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, no, so the guy that so the guy that was operating the smaller digger that you hired to retrieve the bobcat that you got bogged has gone across next door and jump started the big excavator to try, to try and now dig both of the diggers stuck in your yard out. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. And pulls both of his diggers out. Yep. Says to me, mate, I'd go and wash the big digger mm-hmm. and um, don't tell anyone I used it. Yep. Jumped in his truck and. Uh, and drove off. And I'm like, oh, my God. He told you to watch that. <laughs> Hang on. And the whole point is that I'd already asked the neighbour if I could use these, you know, the, the builder, if I could use the digger, he said no, yeah. and then we've obviously used it. And, uh, and then the next next morning, I got a photo from the builder, hmm. taking a photo of the excavator, saying, Michael, um, did you uh, use the, the excavator <laughs> by any chance? Because it's dirty and it was... It's not in the same position as we left it in. <laughs> What'd you say? Jeez, it was pretty rainy last night. Maybe it, maybe it washed it away a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I had to call him and say, mate, I'm so sorry. I, uh, were, you know, he said, mate, I told you you weren't allowed to use it. No, you decided to use it. I said, yeah, but that wasn't me. It was the other boy. I, I went to, to work. And so what did the builder say? He said, mate, it's completely not on. Mm. And yeah. he kind of just went, oh, look, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let it go this time. Yeah, because what's he going to do? Oh, we're it? allowed to hotwire one yeah. of your cars <laughs> <laughs> and drive around. <laughs> Hogs, well, you, were, you were always a chance to say to him, hey, look, have you seen Transformers? Sometimes when a machine turns into the robot and goes and fights crime like it, maybe it came back and just went to sleep in a different position. <laughs> Oh, mate. But uh, anyway, I'm now on talking terms with the uh, the builder, yeah. and um, so it's you know it's, it's all good. I mean, oh, my, my front yard's still bogged. Oh but, yeah, uh, <laughs> front yard's the Grand Canyon. How deep's the <laughs> hole now? <laughs> Two diggers in. Hogs, thanks so much, mate. We'll let you go. But that is a tremendous oh, story. I'm glad we waited for it. I sent through a picture so we can. Um, Put a picture up of your, bog, oh, yeah. your bog, uh, <laughs> bogged bobcats on our, right. on our website. Right. Thanks, buddy. Good one, Hoggy. Take it easy, mate.